Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own insight. In all of your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be a healing for your flesh and a refreshment for your body. Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 8. So this is my diode board out of my uh, BMW R100 CS, uh, 1984 model. Um, and I was having a problem on the bike with, a, uh, with it not uh, keep me, or charging up to uh, the four, between 13 and a half and 14.2 volts. It was, you know, sometimes it would get just a little bit over 12. Um, and then when it was idling, it would drop down to, the battery voltage would drop down to about eight or so. So uh, didn't look like it was working right. Um, so I went to test this diode board, and at first I tried to test it with my multimeter, as uh, some of the other videos had showed, and uh, it was just not working out. I wasn't getting the, the results that they showed. So uh, what I ended up doing was... Uh, using a power supply with about four volts on it and uh, I ran it through my uh, a multimeter here with a and to measure the amperage and so what happens is it takes a little more amperage to make these uh, to actuate these now this may may this was a replacement board so it may be different than the ones that they were shown in the video uh, but anyway so what I I uh, and then I put uh, in the circuit with that a, uh, a 5 ohm resistor. And so well, the way I can do that, the way I can test it now, is I can just uh, go to these uh, AC terminals here, and I can test, and I can see that I'm getting like 0.6 amps through there when I do it this way. And this is 0.6, and that's 0.6. And then if I reverse the leads on my power supply, and now I do the same test. Oops. Now you can see I don't have anything. No current flow on that one. And no current flow on that one. So those are working the right way. And so those are testing, that's testing these big diodes here. And then if you want to test the other side, you just move your alligator clip over here and you can test it that way. I won't run through that because it's the same scenario. And then you can also uh, test the, the little guys. All right, so this is a little better view. Um, you can see those two diodes. One is, one is right there. That's two right next to it. And there's a third one right down there. They go between the case there and the circuit board. So there's one there and one there. So there's a total of five small ones and six big ones. So for a total of 11. And I checked all of those with this method um, using uh, more current. I was using about 0.6 amps. So actually it was 0.7 when I did it without the diode board and then uh, went down to 0.6 when I did it with the diode board. So um, anyway, that was caused me <laughs> to, to order a board I didn't need it when I was trying to diagnose it with a multimeter uh, but with this method it uh, it looks better